All right, so I'm gonna try to button this thing up today. I went and got the bolts and the hardware for the fender flares. And I'm thinking, a couple of you guys said rib nuts would work great, like uh, what was in the tops here. So I think I might actually go with that. Like somebody pushed that in a little bit I'll have to deal with that. But I really wanna get moving with this thing and start driving. I think we're gonna be ended up going on the road again next week, but I'm really loving the look. This shit looks, I, I think it looks really good. We got a couple of things to do today. I wanna dispose of the old fender flare. I, like I said, I tried to save it for you guys. I was hoping I did get a couple messages on it. I was really hoping that I would've been able to save it, but you know, you can only do what you can do. So let's get this thing pulled out and I want to go over everything mechanical today and just get it running and driving because I might drive it out of here today and so I can get the trailer worked on this week and then we'll be out the week after. Keep going, look at that. You already got wildlife living on it. Get out of there. Not today, obviously, but I'm going to do one more dedicated video on this because when I come back from my next trip, I'm going to spend a little bit of money. I need a battery. Um, I already have the HVAC controls, I'll do that. And it needs like a couple odds and ends like the window regular. So I'm gonna do one more dedicated video on the CRV. And then that should be about it because I wanted to take this off-roading and do like some off-roading stuff. But honestly, with uh, running this thing around, it just doesn't make sense to because, I mean, it's really practical for what it is. So, somebody's already spoken for a fishing pole holder, but yeah, it's, it's super practical and I don't want to ruin it. All right, we got the one side on. This thing is solid as it can be. Now, obviously, these bolt-on flares are never perfect. Uh, the other flares weren't perfect by any means. Like, you know, you got like little imperfections here and there, but at the end of the day, this is just how third gens all were. Like up here, it's solid. And then down on some of the sides, like where the bends are, um, as these beds get hit and the fiberglass moves and back and forth and everything, you know, that's just how they are. So you can never have them perfect, like the uh, molded body style of the, the new trucks. So these were all bolts on from, I think, third gen, second gen, and even first gen. But I used to love the first gen flares, but these are definitely a, a damn close second. So this is actually the only reason I like the 11 to 16 Fords, just because of their flare design. And uh, the fact that I can get a long bed with mega cab flares or Ford looking flares, I love that. That makes it perfect. That means I don't have to put a 2016 Ford on my on my list of things to buy down the road. All right, we're making more progress. We got these all wired up. Now I just need to take these and uh, tie it up on the top. But yeah, so let's see that should go back in there. If it will, I doubt it will. Yeah, some of them clips are kind of shot. But yeah, let's do that. All right, one side finished up. We got the wheel well back in. People don't realize these things are solid, which I never would have realized that either. These things are really on there. And I think that the black lights really make it look a lot better. Whereas if I come over to the other side, these lights don't exactly look the greatest. So I have black ones, not a problem. And I'm wondering why everything's shipping so quick. I told you guys, jump back on the GoPro. I told you guys, I ordered a whole nother one of these, brand new, with three batteries, right? And I ordered that Friday. It got here today, which is Sunday. So it's weird. But headlights, they haven't even shipped the damn things yet. So we'll see them Friday. Probably gonna end up just driving it like that, just to get the trailer to the uh, inspection place. But I tried to see if anybody had a used set that I could just throw in for now. But I'm gonna have to go over the wire harnesses and everything as well. So, yeah, I gotta go over the wire harnesses on the, on this guy here, because I had to bypass that, so I'm gonna put a brand new one of these in here, because the wire's kind of corroded on the end. So that's gonna get replaced, and then get rid of the 06 ones, put in the 04. It'll be good, but this thing is, uh, I don't think there's gonna be any truck, any third gen on the road that's gonna look like this one. Because even though, yes, I love the, the bull bar, but it's an 06 style bull bar with grill with 03 headlights and 03 fenders, which I do like the, the design of that. And then you couple that with the mega cab flares. I think it looks badass. I could not be happier other than when all the holes get filled in and, uh, and we clean it up. But besides that, you know, one day down the road, which this bed's going to get, you know, hit and whatnot, I will end up ordering a, a 
another bed at some point like one day down the road but probably won't be for another two years to be honest and like i'm not worried about the little imperfections it is a work truck so i'm not going to worry about all that stuff like the fender you know i'm thinking about a bunch of people mentioned i could get a wrap which i did look in the pricing it was like 4500 dollars to get the whole truck wrapped so if you could find something cheaper for me in my area or somebody wants to do it and could do it a lot cheaper let me know maybe we just wrap it instead of paint it but that's going to be cost is a huge factor um i've been off for now like two weeks and i'll be off for one more week and then i'm going back out um next not next not this coming week but i'm going the following monday we have a two-wheel drive trans hopefully that's locked in i gotta message him about that but uh, yeah two-wheel drive transmission coming the four-wheel drive will be completely gone super excited about that and yeah this thing needs a the bath but i'm i'm excited to see this thing going down the road all right wheel liners are back on on this side so this side is completely done just waiting um like i said videos are three behind so i'm waiting on what you guys want to say about that see if uh anybody has any links of what they want me to order because that i'm kind of torn and it seems like there is a little bit of a dent right here so i'm really not gonna worry about the imperfections like i said we're just gonna send it down the road and uh know it looks good for what it is and what it does so uh, we are running out of time uh if it wasn't for the headlights the doors i was expecting to have sooner than i did um we have a set locked in i'm just still waiting on it so we can't really you know go through and do the paint like i wanted to right now but i will uh i'll start chipping away at the body work slowly this is like really really hard stuff here body filler so kind of made a little boo-boo there it fell in a little bit but that's perfect because now i can start another layer so which i don't know if i'll do today so here's the harness my brother uh yeah he kind of is a little destructive i wasn't expecting him to break both of the lights so i'm gonna have to solder on some new new connectors which not the biggest of deals i kind of wish that he could have avoided that but at the same time he didn't really know so i'm not gonna blame him just glad he was able to get it off in about three minutes instead of the three hours it would have taken me i didn't mention this either but you guys see how big these old flares are right so to get anything out of the bed you know you'd stand right about where this tip is at so if i were to stand here you really can't reach into the bed so i used to put my straps and stuff here but I mean, uh, this makes it so much more practical as well, which is another reason I've always hated the flares. I can actually reach my box right now. Whereas before, I would always have to step on the tire. Makes it so much nicer. Look at that. But there's just, I don't see a reason for them to be that big. It just doesn't make sense. So I got two, you know, the bolts that I'm going to use on the sides. And then I'm going to order some rib nuts for up there. And we'll go from there. So I can't put the fender liner in on this side because I'm also missing three screws so I gotta order screws I have no idea where to get them but the OEM screws are these guys here so we'll get them ordered and we'll go from there but this side's basically all done so I'm gonna get the wiring done and then we'll have all that taken care of I'm gonna set the fender liner in there but going down the road it's gonna bother me that there's a little bit of a gap so and this should actually take care of it um, we'll have to pull these back off but you guys can see there's a very very small if you even want to call it that gap but the rib nuts like you guys had suggested will do really good so i'm gonna go to amazon now and order that stuff kind of uh got this all done oh well i did have it done i just ripped it out but yeah so the lights work so we want to grab some bolts and this door has cleared the entire time i go to randomly open it 
and uh oh boom look at that dent in the fender so i'll fix that when we uh pull the door off and um have the new doors coming but other than that everything's pretty much done it just needs a bath at this point um other than you know i might rewire those in quick so i can have the other headlights a bunch of people have been asking about this glhs and the other one in the shop so i'm gonna kind of go over these two with you guys let's see what you guys think other ones over here in pieces so he said this thing's been in pieces for a long time so he's finally he got it he got it painted at one point and the guy did a terrible job and uh then he died the guy died so he couldn't really yell at the guy so you got somebody else to paint it here we are like 10 15 years later like the thing's been sitting i remember it was sitting in the shop in pieces when i was a kid and he said he's finally going to dedicate like a weekend to it every now and again or every saturday he's going to start dedicating trying to get it put back together so basically he bought that car brand new my dad did right he bought it brand new he did you know a couple of things to it when he was a kid made it a little bit faster it's an original five-speed car it has less than 20 it has less than thirty thousand miles okay so we're getting it i remember i broke one of the the bushings in the shifter before and that was just because i went to move it i was like i was told to and ended up breaking the thing so he, do, he does need to get that but we're going to be putting that back together so you guys asked about that and that's pretty much you know it's a good looking little car it really is this one here um we're just using for parts to get this one back together and then this one um is going to need a head and a couple other things so nothing nothing crazy but this car will be for sale eventually but he's definitely keeping that one so just a little i think it was uh Shell or uh, yeah, Shelby GLHS front wheel drive little turbo car. A bunch of you guys have been asking about that. I don't know too much about them, I think they're neat, but I really can't wait till he gets it done so we can do some videos on it. But that's gonna be this, it's been like 20 years since that car's been together, so don't hound too much. <laughs> So you guys have seen that, but I won't know. I don't know if the high beams will work without the instrument cluster in. I understand the instrument cluster controls the power locks and a lot of things on here. I wonder. Yeah, like I don't even think the turn signals work without the instrument cluster. Yeah, no turn signals. So I guess that won't work, but instrument cluster's in the back over there. It was supposed to be sent out. I'm just waiting to hear back from the guy. I don't know if he sent me out one or not. But hopefully, because I won't really want to start driving this thing. This is the longest I've ever gotten to, to run this soldering iron. And I'll tell you what, it's definitely awesome. So everything is done. Just going to get everything relumed up. And uh, yeah. All the headlights in. Perfect. Now we just need the housings. It's funny because I'd have never been able to do this before. Yeah, I can actually reach everything, which is great. As opposed to, used to have to sit up here like this, and I hated that. Let's see the flare. I hated that. I really wish that they would make these small flares from the factory. That just looks so good. It just looks so good. So I did want to drive it today. We're running out of time, so I figure until I get that instrument cluster, it's really kind of stuck here. And uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. This cleared the whole time, and I don't know why it just started touching. Literally today, I even had the door open earlier, so I don't know if something happened, but no big deal. I'll fix that before we leave. Um, go from there. How to ask her. I love it. This looks good. Ain't gonna find a third gen looking like this ever. I don't see anybody else doing it with a 12 valve at that. All right, that's it. It's in. I'm gonna order some bolts, like I said. And that'll be it. That should do it for today's video. I'm just gonna get this all cleaned up. And we'll go from there. And uh, yeah, I'm happy. Just admiring it. Waited years to do this. And it's like seeing it in person. Just couldn't imagine it would look this good. Years, I tell ya. All because I didn't want to spend 950 bucks on them online. And then I ended up spending 700 bucks on them anyway. So, worth it.